welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today guys we're going to discuss Pythagorean expression number 2 and I'm also going to go over the expression number of 11 as well, uh, which is a master number. So starting with the number 2, we all know by now that it is governed by the moon. Um, it is a very powerful number, it's one of the uh, first three, the first three primary numbers what make up all master numbers, anything after that. You do not have a master number 44, 55, all that stuff is not master numbers, it's just from 11 to 33. Um, so what we have here with the two is somebody who's usually considered codependent, somewhat of a sidekick, uh, somebody that's behind the scenes, but a very, very strong entity in the darkness. It's like the queen to the king on the throne, the person that's really in power behind the throne, um, the tree that bends but doesn't break. Like the one is somebody who's very forceful, and very uh, primal aggressive but they can be showered and broken the feminine energy number two will take and receive suffering but won't quite give in and that's what makes it quite scary is the fact that the two actually doesn't quite surrender to external circumstances the way in which people think they would um, the reason being is that they don't exert that much energy of yang energy in comparison to the number one that does so if you have an expression number of two you may be somebody who is a little bit shy, withdrawn, but extremely intuitive and might may be psychic as well because of the influence of the moon, which has the ultimate influence of water, which is what runs imagination. Um, what you have to watch out for is maybe being a bit too intuitive, too sensitive to the point where using your psychic abilities actually work against you and you become sensitive to your environment. Um, from looking at the archetypes of the number two, if you like Alicia Bender um, and Perry, what their, their main focus on it is the fact that the number two seems to care a little bit too much about what other people think and don't build up their own confidence. When that happens is every single um, external circumstance or something that's going to come in from your reality, your environment, ends up affecting you a lot more than it would affect other people. Uh, the problem with that is other people are not affected the same way you are. That can work if you're in a profession where you need to feel how other people feel, you need to have empathy. But it may not work in a profession where that's not the case. Um, in both Eastern and Western numerology, unfortunately, they don't say the number two is that great for... Um, they wouldn't say it's great for like business, independent business. I've seen a lot of number twos do it regardless, as long as you understand the weakness that your sensitivity can cause. Once you can become immune to your sensitivity and still use your intuition for the, uh, the better good, meaning the better good of other people, and most of all, the better good of yourself, you'll be very, very good with business and you'll actually be able to be one step ahead of your competition because you actually can feel out what's happening in your environment quicker than other people can. Uh, so that can lead to a very advantageous situation for you. Uh, professions that I would recommend for the number two would be as follows. Um, anything to do in the health practitioner field, so nurses, um, people that initiate uh, therapy, psychologists, psychiatrists. Um, you guys can also make very, very good lawyers as well. Um, but it would really depend on your sensitivity in regards to if you want to get into a legal profession. But in dealing with people and making people harmonize and get together, you guys are perfect. Um, any teamwork sport as well, any sport that revolves a team, uh, you guys are perfect for. You guys are the backbone of the team. You might not be the team captain, but you guys are the people that keep the relationships in the team very dynamic and very much well put together. Um, so a lot of people I like, notice like underestimate the two because of this, but it really is quite necessary. The same way as night is necessary today the number two is necessary for the other numbers to have. It's the backup support. And a lot of the times you guys don't actually get the support that's required. Um, but if it's your expression number, what you need to do is learn how to harmonize with people as a final note, and actually at a final note as well, build that confidence. I'm gonna move on to the 11 now. The 11 is a double one. So if you didn't see the um, expression number one, go back to it, it's of course the video before this. Um, so you're gonna have double the influence of sun. With the influence of sun comes a lot of responsibility and making sure you take action making sure you're the leader in situations, and the base number of the 11 is two. So when it's your expression number, as I've said in another video, it's literally what affects you on a day-to-day -day basis. Having an 11 as a mass number affecting you is very, very difficult because you have two different energy voltages at a very high frequency. You have the most masculine energy and the most feminine energy working together. So you have to balance your yin and your yang. And in order to do that, what you need to do is have a grand purpose, have a purpose that's gonna affect a lot of people, but make sure you're taking action each day to go towards that purpose, while also accepting that you're gonna receive criticism from other people and from circumstances that might be a little bit, um, I would say, discouraging. If you're able to literally balance the yin and yang between those, you're gonna be able to master the number 11. Um, what we know about the number 11 in actuality, it's agreed upon is about 
Uh, the 11 can do a lot because it connects with the Akashic realm, our subconscious universe. So when you look at it from that perspective, you realize that the potential of the number 11 is not even really fully discovered yet. It's up to you to discover it if you are an expression number 11. You're going to have to look into what your goals are, uh, what you really feel deep down as a dream, and then make step-by-step -step, um, plans to actually get there. So you need to be follow your instincts, follow what feels primal, follow what feels like it's going to better your survival and procreation, while also still understanding that you need to respect others and understand that your emotions still need to be healed and looked at as well. Um, for the 11, profession-wise, it usually points towards the arts. Um, I understand that because you do have quite a bit of intuitive sense. You will understand what other people need, so I'd recommend anything in the arts to look into, such as like music, um, it could be dancing, singing, um, or it could even be like a motivational speaker. Um, reason being is because you guys do have that masculine forefront. You guys can definitely persuade other people to think in a certain way and see things from your higher perspective. Your job as an expression number 11 is to be a teacher, to bring people to the spiritual realm. And it doesn't necessarily mean that in a religious context. A lot of people get it confused because a lot of the things that are written about numerology were in times when religion was a major uh, part of their society. Um, but I know it's a lot of 11s that are expression numbers. I leave Tony Robbins I end up showing up as an expression number 11, who's an extremely big motivational speaker. Uh, he ended up, he doesn't necessarily bring people to a spiritual realm, but he teaches people how to use their mind for their betterment. And I think that our mental realm is still bigger than our physical realm, because that does bring you to a certain level of spirituality, where you can understand mind over matter. So whatever you're going through in life, whether your tribulations, the challenges that you're going through, as a result of the 11, you need to use those things to actually bring you to the next level where you can teach others how to achieve their supernatural results meaning other people that may not have a master number you can still teach them how to get master number results by concentrating thinking positively uh, using the subconscious mind for the betterment of yourself and for others when you're able to do that you'll be able to teach other people in the proper way and it may seem spiritual or occult to them even though it's to you it comes a second nature all right so that would pretty much conclude the video for two and for master number 11. I'm going to get to three tomorrow for sure, which is by itself. Um, but if you guys have any questions regarding the expression number 11 or expression number two, just leave it in the comments for me. I know it's quite a bit of context to go over and there's still a lot more to discuss. I'm just waiting to hold back some of my information for the eastern side where I have more details on these numbers. Uh, but until then, guys, uh, please just like, subscribe. Thank you guys again for watching. Holla at me. That's it.